Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you four ways that you can make Reaper faster and uh, cut back on lag and RAM and CPU usage. Now, whether you have a fast computer or a slow computer, uh, these four different things will definitely help you. So number one, the freeze feature. Probably the biggest thing you can do to cut back on CPU and RAM usage is to use less plugins. Since that isn't always an option, we can use freeze. Essentially, freeze will render your tracks with whatever plugins you're using and write them to disk, so to speak. So it renders them. So if you had a recorded guitar track or an epic symphony using MIDI that had a bunch of plugins on them, you can now play the plugin back or uh, play the track back uh, without any plugins that are loaded, and it'll play just like an audio file. Uh, the advantage of this is playing an audio file back is a lot less intensive than playing. Uh, an audio file back with a bunch of plugins and effects added. The cool thing about this too is you can roll back any of these, uh, you can roll back the freeze, you can freeze and unfreeze as many times as you want. So it's definitely a very cool tool for large projects. Number two, input effects for virtual instruments and amp sims. Now, not many people uh, do this, but if you have a really old computer, you can record all your effects permanently on the track using the uh, input effects chain as opposed to the regular effects chain. That way the processing is only done when you first record and uh, playback will not use much or any resources. Uh, just keep in mind, if you do this, there's no making changes later, so uh, use with caution. Uh, use only if you're uh, really confident about your tone or whatever you got plugged in or vocal chain, whatever. As a secondary use, you can also use this to record changes made to an amp and made to an amp plugin in real time, which is great if you want to record a demo of how a plugin works or change settings in real time. So number three, which would be routing. Routing is a simple way you can cut down on uh, CPU and memory by using less instances of a plugin. Now routing gets pretty advanced. You can do uh, about just about anything you want with routing uh, options inside of Reaper. But I'll just show you a simple trick uh, for say uh, guitars. So uh, say if you want to run two guitars, two rhythm guitars off of one instance of a plugin. Uh, you would want three tracks. One would be the left guitar and one would be the right guitar. Those two tracks you'd want to pan uh, one left and one right. Now the third track you'd want to load your plug-in, which whatever you'd want to play guitar through. Um, then you would click on the route icons on the two guitar tracks. You'd uncheck master send and then you'd send uh, the guitar track to uh, the plugin that you just created. And there you go. Now you have uh, two guitar tracks running off of one plugin. Now there's disadvantages to this, uh, like some amps don't support stereo configurations like that. Uh, and you also don't want to all send all of your guitar tracks to this one plugin. You want to make sure they're separate channels, otherwise it'll sound goofy. But yeah, it's a really cool thing if you're really trying to save um, some resources. It's not always practical, but I decided to throw that out there. So that takes us to number four, ASO buffer and driver settings. Now, if you're getting stuttering while recording, uh, adjusting your ASO buffer size can help. Without getting overly complex here, uh, the higher number you set this value, uh, the more input latency you're gonna get. So how low you can actually set the ASO uh, buffer it depends on your CPU and RAM speed and really the type of interface that you have. So uh, set that as low as you possibly can without getting stuttering while you're recording. Uh, the cool thing while you're mixing though is you can set this as high as you want because when you're mixing, input latency isn't a problem. A lot of people just leave it alone all the time, but if you're having problems with stuttering and stuff when uh, you're mixing, you, you don't, uh, you can, you can just set that to as high as you want because latency isn't important when you're mixing. So yeah, I hope these uh, four tips helped you out. Uh, if you 
like this video, please leave a like. Um, if you didn't like it, leave a dislike, I guess. Uh, subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.